Hi everyone. I really hope you're well. Um, I'm very sorry that I haven't been live for quite a while. All I can say is that work life has all been incredibly busy and still is. <laughs> but I'm missing my lives. I'm missing you guys. And um, I'm hoping that you have been missing me too. That would be quite nice. <laughs> so I've come on live today to talk about lashes. Um, a lot of people are talking about lashes and um, a lot of people are getting very confused about what cruelty free and mink lashes and all those types of things stand for. And I'm getting asked quite a lot of questions. So I have done some research. I can't say that I know absolutely everything yet. Um, recently, Quite a few people have been getting in touch going, Amy, can I introduce you to my cruelty free mink eyelashes? And I've mainly been going, well, if they're mink, they're not, they're not cruelty free. And they're going, no, they are cruelty free. We're certified cruelty free. I'm sorry, guys. There is no such thing as cruelty free mink eyelashes. Mink is a wild animal. Minks live in a pack. Minks um, travel very, very far on land and in water in one day. So to have minks caged and put together and to say we're cruelty free because we brush the fur and whatever fur comes out makes our eyelashes, that is not cruelty free. That is keeping a wild animal caged. It is not their nature to be all together in a very small area and caged, okay? Minks travel very, very far in land and water. So I'm sorry, there is no such thing as cruelty free mink eyelashes. Um, when I have questioned people and they've said, well, actually we are certified um, cruelty free, it just goes to show you that we've got a very, very long way in our industry and world <laughs> to go to actually see because basically in England there's no regulation so I can claim I'm cruelty free, I can claim I'm vegan, I can claim I'm ethically sourced, I can claim anything I want to. Um, it doesn't actually mean that any of it's true. So if anyone does say that they're certified, ask for proof and ask for that certificate. If people care about their business enough, they will pay that extra money to either get accredited or to get a certificate to show to people. Um, there's another thing I'm, I'm trying to remember. So um, the same company that introduced tried introducing me to the um, cruelty free mink eyelashes, don't exist, um, also said to me that they're bringing out a vegan range, which comes from the silk of the silkworm, um, which we all know that to be vegan, you don't use any animal byproducts. So that's not vegan. So please, guys, you know, it's one, really, really important to educate yourselves. Two, if you're going to start up a business down this line, don't take people's words for it. Do your own research. Your own research can be a little bit more time consuming and a bit more complicated. I find um, a lot of contradictions out there um, and you just have to ask more. So ask more and make sure. And if you don't know, there's loads and loads of support groups where you can ask other people's opinion and just see, see their thoughts. Um, but you know what? I'm going to say it one more time. There is no such thing as cruelty free mink eyelashes and there's no such thing as vegan from the silkworm. OK, so over and above, we're getting away with that. But you know what? Um, I've got certain ethics that I live by and they are ethics that I teach and share with my students. At the end of the day, whatever my students go to set up their own business, that's that's fine. They can do whatever they want to do. When I get asked, should I have um, real hair brushes or artificial brushes? I tend to say, well, what's your own lifestyle? If you eat meat and wear leather, then I guess it's OK to have the animal hair um, brushes. But actually, synthetic brushes have come a very, very long way and they are very, very good. So yet again, do your research, try them all out and see if they fit in with you, your lifestyle and and your business ethos and what you'd like to give out to people. So of course, anyone that gets in touch with me asking if they can send me products to try out to ask my opinion, first of all, get a very hard time from me because I am not an influencer. I will not just say yes to everyone. Please send me free stuff. This is amazing. I personally don't think it's amazing. Um, one, if the products aren't great, what am I going to do with them anyway? Um, two, they have to meet certain standards for me to, to say yes. 
So um, I'm very, very happy and lucky to have met this lovely company called Oh My Lash. Um, I have tagged them on here. It's Oh My Lash UK Berkshire. And I'm going to introduce you to their lashes, but I'm going to also just let you know the grilling <laughs> that I gave poor Nicole when she first approached me. So Nicole got in touch with me on Instagram um, and she just said, can I please introduce you to my lashes? They're something that I think are amazing and I hope you find them amazing. Um, I just want as many people's feedback as possible. So I've said, well, tell me more information. Are they cruelty free? Are they ethically sourced? Is the packaging recyclable or biodegradable? And I literally just put all these questions to Nicole. Um, and you know, I, I get different answers from different people, but Nicole from Oh My Lash did turn around and she said, we are a cruelty free company and we wouldn't have it any other way. Um, she called her lashes full mink lashes. So fake mink lashes. Um, they are an alternative to mink lashes and they are made from polysynthetic fibres. It is hair-like, making it durable yet soft, which our clients love. Um, it's easy to apply and fits any shape of eye. We've got eight styles so you can choose the one to suit the occasion. Our beautiful rose gold case is an added bonus so customers can protect their lashes once they remove them. Um, really hope this has answered your questions. Um, also, she just got back to me to say yes to the cases being recyclable. They're not biodegradable, but they are recyclable. And she did get back to the manufacturer and confirm that with them, which is great. As the lashes are reusable, the cases protect their lashes, which, uh, their lashes, which is their USP, unique selling point, um, when taken off. When the lashes can't be used anymore, the cases can be used to store things in. I've got pins and buttons in mine. Otherwise, they can be recycled. So I'm just going to show you um, a few of the lashes and their cases. Um, I have used three or four pairs of them now. We've got a really, really nice selection of the lashes and I will talk you through them. But just very quickly, um, all of that plastic is recyclable plastic. The little case there keeps your lashes really nice and safe to be able to use them. Another question I got back, how many times can you use them um, before you kind of have to get rid of them? Um, she did say it varies from people. Some They're saying between five and ten uses out of each lash so they are reusable but she did say it depends on the glue that you use so obviously a better quality use and um, glue will actually cleanse off and be able to use it more so that's something to bear in mind um just want to show you as well these are lovely little containers that just open up you've got your lashes in there the little plastic bit is that going to come out for me i know it does on this one so once you've finished, little plastic bit comes out, yet again recyclable. If you want to take the card out, you can. And you've got a lovely little pot for storing things in or you can recycle it. Totally up to you. I have also asked how much they retail at because one thing that you probably would have found when you are trying to be more eco-friendly is it's really expensive too. And that's something that annoys the hell out of me. Why should it be more expensive? Um, before I go off on a complete tangent, organic food. Why is organic food more expensive to leave it alone when um, vegetables that we spray with pesticides are, and packaging plastic are, is cheaper? I don't get it. And I think we all need to do something about it to change that. Anyway, I did diversify, so sorry about that. Um, so they are sold for £6 online per lash, um, but they do also offer wholesale prices um, and they can go quite low. Quite frankly, £6 for the lashes, which are completely reusable, is a fantastic price um, as far as I'm concerned. So, um, I don't know. At the moment, I they arrived. I was like, they are so pretty. Really, really impressed with the look of them. Um, I can see that they'll appeal to a lot of people. I then did have a very, very busy week last week with um, teaching courses, so we use using lashes, um, some of my students use lashes then, 
I had a photo shoot myself, so I used some lashes then. And I also attended uh, my cousin's wedding. So of course I wore some lashes on myself and then I could give the best feedback that I could. Um, so before I go into all of that, I just want to show you the different lashes. This one is there is called Signature. It's um, a signature lash, um, mainly used on brides and it is the most natural. And I must admit, if you don't wear lashes at all and you don't want it to appear like you're wearing false eyelashes, that would be the one that you would want to go for. Okay, so um, the other ones that I have tried this week, I haven't put it back in properly and I haven't cl um, closed, cleaned these ones yet. These ones are called Girl Boss. They looked really nice and actually very natural as well. I've kind of been going for the more natural ones. I personally used these ones, which are called Date Night for my wedding. My, the wedding I went to rather than my, my wedding. And I've also used these ones, which are very popular. These ones are called Selfie. So there's also the more dramatic ones, which I haven't tried out yet. We've got these ones which are called Flutter, these ones which are called Fierce, and these ones which are called Girl Power. Um, just haven't used them yet because I haven't done a more dramatic makeup look for them to go with. I must admit, eyelashes, when you do see them in a pot, tend to look a lot more scary um, in the pot than actually when you've done makeup and they're on makeup. Um, they've all actually looked very, very natural when I've used them and I've been very impressed this week. I'm going to put all my photos that I've taken from last week in my story. So do please have a little look at the before and after photos and also complete photos of what I've been doing this week. Um, so what I will say is I've been putting these on quite a lot of people this week and not one eye has been too short for them. I haven't had to trim them and that to me is fantastic because I hate trimming eyelashes. I hate them when the length is just far too long. So um, we've had lots of different eye shapes. We've had hooded eyes, close together eyes, very small eyes um, and then much bigger eyes as well and they have fit each of those eye shapes and looks completely and look absolutely beautiful on them. So um, very, very nice and easy to stick. They did adhere to the eye shape really, really well. I didn't have to re-stick them at all. They were really nice and easy to apply. And the result was amazing um, without anyone looking like they've got really thick full eyelashes on. Um, obviously, if you love that look of really uh, thick full eyelashes, then just go for the slightly more dramatic ones like Girl Power if you really want to go big with your lashes. So the ones that I wore when I attended my wedding was Date Night. Um, which, as you can see, they come in different lengths of long and short rather than... Um, all the same length all the way across. Um, the thing with me and lashes, the thing with me and makeup full stop actually, is I do want to tend to take it off as quickly as possible when I've been wearing it all day and I've set it all. Um, I didn't feel like that with these lashes. I'm not sure, I'm going to ask Nicole why. <laughs> it might be the material that it's made out of or just how comfort it is. Normally when I'm wearing false eyelashes, I get to maybe halfway through the evening and I can't wait to rip them off actually. Whilst these ones, uh, they were so comfortable, I forgot that they were there and even in the evening I wasn't desperate to take them off. Which is a biggie for me because I'm always desperate to take them off. If I'm driving home, I'm taking them off in the car. So the fact that I was very happy to just keep them on and um, almost forget about them is testament to how comfortable they are. Um, so that's really, really great as well. Um, like I said, before and after photos, I'm going to put in the story, so check that out. I'll probably share in a few posts as well. Um, cleaning wise, um, I did ask Nicole's um, advice on how she cleaned them because when you are going to reuse eyelashes, what you really want to do is make sure that you get all of that glue off and what you really don't want to be doing is picking the glue off. As soon as you start picking that glue off, you can actually catch the fibre and tear that off. Um, and if you're going to tear off the fibre, it's, it's, you can't reuse it. So um, 
I first of all used my makeup remover wipes and um, just gently rubbed them. Luckily you can get biodegradable makeup remover wipes now as well. And um, Nicole advised me to use oil eye makeup remover and just gently rub them and that will absorb the glue so that you can pop them back in their lovely little case to reuse them. So I need to clean three or four pairs um, today and that's what I'm going to be doing. So just as a little recap overall, um, lovely lashes, they are not mink, they are cruelty free. Once again, they are made out of polysynthetic fibres, which is hair like, making it durable yet soft. Okay, packaging is recyclable and reusable, which is really amazing. Um, and the price, like I said, they retail for six pounds, or if you do have a business and you are bulk buying and you need to get your lashes in for your prom or your brides um, then she can come down in wholesale price um, as well so I would definitely I recommend these I've I do use and I have used lots of different lashes and so far these are my favorites um, like I said this one is signature which is their lovely range most popular with brides I hope you can see that I can see the lights so reflecting a little bit very very natural for the brides um, and like I say unique selling point is the fact that you're given this lovely little case that they can be held in and then you can reuse that after which is great um, also a lot better than say my lash box here which has got no plastic so when I try to reuse them they just fall out which is no good um, otherwise I have got my other lashes here yet again um, hopefully you know completely recyclable as well um most lashes do come like this so all i tend to find with these is that in my kit they do get squashed they go for a little walk um or they can kind of you lose one or you get squished so you're definitely not going to get squished with this container which is fantastic but to me the fact that they're cruelty free um vegan the packaging is recyclable and reusable ticks a lot of boxes um, and I'm just, I'm so happy that we are going in the right direction in the beauty industry. Um, if you have got any questions, I am more than happy to pass them on to Nicole. Um, otherwise, like I say, on Facebook, it's Oh My Lash UK Berkshire. Berkshire, however you want to say it, if I am mispronouncing it, I do apologise. Um, and there you go, there's my, there's my review having used those for the last week and like i said i will pop them up in my story um very very quickly just to let you know what we've got coming up with sussex makeup academy uh, next week on monday the 1st of july i believe it is we have got a bridal makeup masterclass. so that's for people that have trained in makeup and either want to refresh their skills or want to specialize in bridal and on friday next week friday the 5th we've got a face painting masterclass, um which is teaching you lots of different techniques and um, kind of for beginners and we are concentrating on skull makeups as well we've then got quite a few one day master classes in august um in july and then august is our one week intensive makeup course starting on the 19th of august and running monday to friday so that is us and i hope you have liked this review thank you very much for joining me i am gonna go off to instagram now and have a little chat about it over there but thank you for joining me and like i say any questions please do write them because the more questions we ask, the more awareness we are raising to companies that it's something that we care about. Um, and finally, can I just say to you, whenever you're buying something, whenever you're sourcing something, whenever anyone gets in touch and says, can I send you this? Please think about your ethics. Please think about the environment and think about what questions you need to ask. Like I say, my top questions are, are they cruelty free? Sometimes, are they vegan? Are, is the packaging biodegradable or recyclable or reusable and are they ethically sourced they're my main questions at the moment um, and quite frankly unfortunately just taking their word as yes doesn't mean anything at all um, if they're saying yes ask if they've got a certificate to back it up 
because we can just say yes in England <laughs> and it means absolutely nothing and um, that is quite upsetting to think that you've done lots of research and to find out what you've ended up with is not what you thought you were going to end up with so do ask if they can back it up with their certification that it is cruelty free and that it meets all your requirements um and the more people that ask the more people that demand hopefully the more change we're going to make so thank you very much for joining me and um hopefully i'll see you next week or in a couple of weeks i will do my best to be more regular any lives that you want let me know because it will encourage me to make more lives Take care and have a really great week. Bye everyone.